It's a tragedy that almost cost one hospital chaplain his life. He credits the power of prayer and people from different faiths coming together with his recovery. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer has the story. All I know is that um, out there that day, I became a little bit more aware of what his role is in life, my personal connection to faith. Dr. Santandru and Father Radu are celebrating a one year anniversary of a near tragedy on the water. There he is, the madman. Father Radu was eager yeah. to learn how to jet ski. In the middle of the pandemic, the water was a sanctuary. So the jet so, ski was an escape for you? It was an escape. A well, it was a release. They went out on a day after a storm and a four-foot wave sent the father off the ski. He was facing down in the water and just floating. He hit the jet ski so hard it shattered his face and neck, leaving him unconscious and gravely injured. I started backward resuscitation and I heard a little ah, and then I was like, ah, thank you. The doctor worked on him for 20 minutes. No boats were nearby and it was getting dark until he saw a tugboat and flagged him down. These guys were, do you need help? And I go, I, I'm losing him, I can't hold him anymore, and I'm afraid he's going to die. Within minutes, he was transported to the hospital, but he was far from out of the woods. For weeks, he remained unconscious, suffered three strokes, and was fighting for his life. The only thing left was to pray. What was unusual was who was praying for him. Judaism, um, Islamics, um, Buddhists, even the atheists, everybody that you knew became one. Everybody came together and they forgot the differences. Father Radu woke up and six months after he was near death, he returned to work praying with others. I saw how humanity could be no color, no religion, and one common goal, be there for each other. A shared humanity we can all celebrate. In Forest Hills, Steve Obermeyer, CBS 2 News. Oh, I love it. Everyone a miracle. Coming together. Yes, a miracle when you need it. Not bad.